In this video, we'll go over how to install a standalone NVR and get you to access remote live video. The convenience of a standalone NVR is that it doesn't require an additional PoE switch to network your PoE cameras. We'll be using TrendNet's TV NVR 104K, a four-channel HD PoE NVR kit which includes two TrendNet PoE cameras, model TV, IP, 320Pi. The kit also comes with everything you need to set up your basic network surveillance system. The NVR, the NVR power adapter, a USB mouse, an included HDMI cable, network cables, and a display, which is not included. Please note that in the NVR kit, the two 100-foot cables are for your cameras, and the 6-foot cable is used to connect the NVR to your network. Before installing your cameras, we recommend you complete the NVR setup process first. Begin by choosing a well-ventilated and safe location to install your NVR. The reason being, you'll need to maintain access to your NVR for installation, general maintenance, backups, and upgrades. After you've chosen your desired location, connect the network cable to the LAN port. Next, connect the USB mouse to the USB port, and then connect the two TV IP320Pi cameras to the PoE camera ports. Connect the HDMI cable, plug in the power supply, and the installation is almost done. Now that the TV NVR 104K is turned on, you will see the setup wizard appear on the display. Using the included USB mouse, enter the default password admin and follow the on-screen prompts. You will be prompted to change the default password. It's very important that you remember your new password, because resetting it requires assistance from TrendNet support services. After you've completed the wizard, your NVR setup is complete. Now we'll go over how you can access the TV NVR 104K using a web browser. Supported web browsers include Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Safari. Due to limited support for plugins, Chrome and Edge are not currently supported. To remotely access your NVR, you need to forward TCP port 80 and TCP port 554 to the NVR in your router. If your NVR has a dynamically assigned IP address, make sure to use your DHCP reservations or set a static IP address on it to ensure that the port forwarding rules remain accurate. If the IP address changes, you will need to update your port forwarding rules. Check your router's user's guide or contact the manufacturer for assistance. From a remote location, you can access your NVR by using your public IP address. Your public IP address can be found on your router's status page. Your public IP address may change, but the use of a dynamic DNS or DDNS service provider can help with this. Many routers include DDNS client built into it. Again, check your router's user's guide or contact the manufacturer for assistance. If your router does not have a DDNS client built in, most DDNS service providers have a software client that you can run on a computer to manage your DDNS records. And now you have remote access to your NVR. Thanks for watching our video.